Hi guys, Lord Mangodai here, and I'm back with another episode of The Successor. We, in the last one, just successfully extracted the relic from this cave, as you recall. We had to figure out how to, how to, well, it's still there, interesting. We had to figure out how to grab it without being murdered by the flames of this flame god. And now we can have Father Teofil grab it. And I have to bring it safely back to the monastery, and he must survive, obviously, because otherwise we have no way to carry it. Alright. Just make sure to remember what our hotkeys were. Yep, we're good. Alright. Let's get out of this place. Probably there will be some Fenarians on the road home that weren't there last time. The frame rate, I have to say, is looking really good right now. I hope it stays that way. I gave my computer a nice long rest before I started it up to, to play this episode, so it should be super fresh and hopefully it stays that way. Let's scout ahead with these two guys, make sure there's no nasty surprises along the way. Of course, it's going to be slow going with the monk here. <laughs> Look, he grabbed the relic and, yeah. This is an annoying thing that happens when you have uh, monks or villagers with altered stats. Once they... Because a monk holding a relic is a different unit, so it, it totally messes with the with the game. And the same thing with a villager. When you tell a villager to... Speaking of... Yeah, there she is. When you, when you accidentally click on a tree or an animal or something and it changes it into a hunter or a lumberjack or a gold miner or whatever it changes their uh unit and therefore it goes to this like 100 out of 40 which makes no sense just slightly irritating because if they ever drop below that they can't then heal up to full health anymore so she'll never be able to get back up to the 110 hp that she used to have Oh, well, so far so good. No, nothing untoward along the way. Use the inn from before. Oh, never mind. I found something untoward. Two Mamelukes, three Mamelukes, four Mamelukes. Okay. As long as you leave. Okay, let's stop. Stop and fight. I was lucky that they didn't go for the little girl. She was standing right there. This is not ideal, come on. Tehran has plus six attack from that uh, from that bow that he got. Uh, the we uh, we killed the iron boar for Walker Texas Ranger over here. Walker Forest Ranger, and he gave us an ex uh, a bow with plus six attack for Tehran, which is nice. Uh, that's actually. These two are pretty badly hurt, so maybe we can put the relic down. Although I, I hope he, I hope nothing stupid happens. Like he puts the relic down, and it's like you are unworthy. You have dropped the relic. So let's just let's save. Uh, there we go. New save state in case bad things happen. And heal for me. Thank you. Who can we scout ahead with? Who has good line of sight? No one has good line of sight. Look at this. Terrible. Knights don't. Crossbows, I guess. Are okay. Got kind of taken by surprise by those Mamelukes, even though, even though we were warned that there would be more Fenarian troops on the road on the road back. But they were right here where the little girl was, and it's lucky that nothing bad happened. Getting there. Aha. Uh -huh. See? I think... I don't know if I can one-shot the Mamelukes with these guys, but I'm going to try it. I think I can take them out. Oh. Unfortunately, the range is not very good on these guys. This is pretty going pretty well. No losses. Excellent. Perfect, in fact. Alright, let's move on. Let's 
slow march home with this relic. And then we'll have Father Teofil get to work on these guys while I scout ahead with my heroes again. Those Mamelukes of the Fenarians are a bit of a pain. I mean, archers are a decent answer to them, but ideal would be obviously halberdiers, which I have absolutely nothing of. Nothing like that. Alright, come on. Put it down. And get to work. Alright. Will there be anything else along here? We'll have to have a look. Yeah, I'm really happy with how well it's running right now. Although it could be that it gets worse and worse over time. That's so far, so good. Oh, hello. Calm, oh, calm down. All right, we've got some, some more bad news coming along the way. Did I not tell you to run? Don't need him. Have we outrun them? Let's go you bait them a bit. With Tehran. Unfortunately no longer in super sniper mode. But plus six is nothing to be sneezed at. Don't need him to be so close. And of course we have nothing really to fear from halberdiers. They're always going to be easy to deal with. can outrun them with what they're weak against, and then everything else is strong against them. Plus Tehran with the new bow can take him out in like four shots? Yep, four shots. That's nice. It's very nice indeed. Right, let's gather everyone together. We all healed up. Fully healed. Okay. Onwards. A couple more halves over here, I think. Yep. Nice. I think it used to be six shots for a hal, but now it's four, so that bow really makes a difference. For Tehran. Oh, there's another one of these guys. Now, if only we could get Thumbring, because <laughs> he misses all the time. Although he's a lot faster than a Mamluk, which is nice. There we go. Hit and run everything with him. Alright, onwards. For all that Kral is supposed to be our hero, I think Tehran is by far our most valuable unit in this game so far. And not just because of the super sniper mode thing from, from a couple episodes ago. It's just really nice to have such a fast, hard-hitting unit which you can do hit and run with. All right, that's the last of them. Let's move it along and put it in the monastery, the relic, if we can. God, that one's so slow. I don't think there's anything else down here that we can go. There's just Walker, Walker, Walker over here, Chuck Norris. Let's get all our heroes together. That's all we have to do, put it in the monastery, right? Bring it to the monastery, so it might stop us outside. But we'll see what we have to do. We have returned! We're at your service, Prince Kral. Donarian refugees, alright? So, crossbowmen. Not too many warriors in this monastery, but it's better than nothing, I suppose. Yeah, this is a pretty small reward for that. I need to stay here and take care of the monastery. I wish you good luck, successor. May the gods protect you every step. I am certain Ignis is very grateful for your action. Yeah, so we have a few, like, unupgrade, no no special stats or anything on these guys, so that's not great. But we did get the uh, monk for a short period of time and we're able to heal up our entire army, so that's also worth, worth quite a lot. Alright, so... Gotta just update our control groups here. 
Erlov, forget it. Kid? Get out of the way. And the one archer, I guess, can go in this group as well. Alright. Okay. I guess that's all. On to the next one. This eagle warrior camp up here. So up this way and then to the left into the unexplored area. Probably shouldn't be going forward with her. <laughs> She's the last person I should be going forward with. So you you stay here, little girl. Such a pain to have to babysit her all the time. Where are you going, Krull? This is some masterful pathfinding right here. Oh, well, he seems to have found a way. All right. Shouldn't have shouldn't have doubted you for a second. All right. Just pass right through the army like that. It's weird. Some it's weird how units sometimes block you in this game and sometimes they don't. Very strange. All right. Let's hit a save in case there's some giant army hiding in the fog of war up here that we're that's just gonna murder us, maul us. All right. I mean, I do I do really appreciate the the scope of this map. It's really it makes you quite eager to like explore and see what see what's around the corner. Ooh, what's around the corner is Mamelukes apparently. That's all right. Nothing to be worried. Oh, he's, he's taking all the hits, though. Take them all out. No problem. Nothing too. Nothing too dramatic. Although I probably shouldn't have let Tron get quite that badly hit. Ah, but he's alright. He's still over over half HP. That's four Fenarians less out of the 500 or so that were on the map to begin with. Right. I do kind of. I like the. Uh, I like the concept of just sort of riding around the country and just trying to slowly build up an army. It's pretty cool. Although for for every bit of army that we gain, there's some fight that where we lose as many. What's happened here? Let's talk to this guy. First, I lose my little daughter in the Delta. Oh, hello! And then I come back to find my village burned down and everyone dead. I lose my daughter. I have your daughter. Excellent. We finally don't have to babysit anymore. You have no idea how excited I am about that, you guys. He's a blacksmith, too, so maybe we'll get some like upgrades. That'll be cool. No, no, no! Oh my god! Oh my god, you have got to be kidding me. That's the... You are... Oh. My little girl, is really you. I'm forgetting your debt for bringing my only child back. I'll give you the only presents I have. This plate armor and this fat turkey! Turkey! That's what we need? Okay, run away. Kral is almost dead. Get the knights out of the way. We don't need them. Okay. Get rid of these Mamelukes, please. Oh, that was... Everything happened at once there. Oh my gosh, that would have been terrible if we had lost her just like, Daddy, I'm home, and then get stabbed in the back by a Mameluke sword. That would have been terrible. Okay, where's the turkey? He said he gave me a turkey. Where's the turkey? Okay, but he gave Kral 50 HP. Yeah, 375. Wow, it's a, it's a good thing, too. I don't know if he would have survived without that. Where's the dang turkey? You promised me a turkey! Hey, did it fail to spawn? Did it die? Because I need that turkey. I really... May the hands of the gods... Yes, thank you for saving me. Go away. Alright, I, I don't know what... 
the heck was up with that turkey, but it didn't work. It failed to spawn. Or am I being really stupid, you guys? Do you see a turkey here? I don't see a turkey. So I think I'm going to have to reload from the last place I saved. Because I need that turkey. Alright, I'm sorry you guys, but... Turkey is necessary for my quest, and something happened that prevented it from spawning. So... Yeah. And we'll be a little more careful and make sure we get rid of all the Fenarians in this whole area before we send the little girl in, because that was just way too close last time. Okay, I know there's some Mamelukes coming up, so... Send all the non-mounted units forward. And there we go. Get rid of these guys. We'll just scout out the entire region and make sure all the Fenarian patrols are dealt with. What? Turkey found? Where? Where? God, I'm so confused. Okay, the Fenarians are up there. The Mamelukes. Let's take them and snipe them with the crossbows. Well, let's lure them with these two and then snipe them with the crossbows. Okay, the, the turkey is there. I saw it. Why is it way up there? Alright, let's run. Oh, jeez. Okay, that was way too close. Oh, Alright, I have the turkey. It, it ran up here for some reason because the, the guy is way down there. These two are a bit too hurt, so we'll wait for them to heal up a bit. But we have the turkey. It was way up here. Did the Fenarians like, want to take it? Did the AI try to like bring it to a town center or something? Usually the AI doesn't do stuff like that, but... I don't know. I don't know what was going to happen. Alright, so we took two... There's two Mameluke troops, and there's a bunch of Arbs as well. Oh, uh, oh, 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 oh. That's not good. Stupid arbs. Get rid of them. Okay. I think we managed to keep most of our archers alive throughout that, luckily. I didn't see those paladins coming, so... You stay here, you're still too hurt. Gotta flush out the entire region, you never know when, when a Fenarian troop might just come out of nowhere. And ruin your whole day. Uh, is this blocked? Yeah, it's blocked. North Denaria, South Fenaria, West Badlands. Beware of the cutthroats. These cutthroats? Are we gonna get the to recruit the cutthroats? That'd be kind of fun. Okay, and this is where Mister, I'll give you a turkey that's nowhere near, and crawl 50 HP if you bring me my daughter. I wonder what is up with that turkey because he's way up here, and that's not really what's supposed to happen. I don't think. These two always slacking. Mostly because I don't bring them in time. Okay, I'll just send the daughter. Kral gets his extra 50 HP, which is nice. Let's stick with her in case there's still some evil afoot in this region. We can just escort her. Escort mission. Okay. 
My little daughter. Here she is. My little girl, is it really you? Prince Kral, I'm forever in your debt for bringing my only child back. We'll give you the only possessions I have left. This plate armor, 50 HP, and this fat turkey. Okay, so now we have to escort the turkey all the way back to here if we want to get, gain these guys' support. That's a long way to go. That's a long escort mission. But we can manage it. All right, back we go. And at least we're, we've gotten rid of the little girl, which is almost a, as much of a bonus as anything else. A lot of back and forth lately. We had to go back and forth to, to here. And we had to get, go back and forth to here to get the the uh, relic. He's so slow. I think if we leave him behind, we'd end up going a lot faster. Or, I don't even know. Turkeys just go waddling along on its own way. Hey! You're ours. Never forget. These knights are really kind of useless because everything the Fenarians have is really strong against cavalry. I mean, occasionally they'll have arbs, but you'd never want to—you don't want to send knights in to fight against halberdiers or mamelukes. So it's like, what are these even good for? You're good for escort missions, I guess. I don't think we're going to run into any enemies. We've cleared these areas. And they didn't. Spe they, they, they specifically said when we came back with the relic that there would be more Fenarians on the way back, but now there are not. So I guess we can just leave these guys here. Send them back there. And guide this turkey home. And then we get the, gain the forces of, or gain the support of these two and these five. These two being, I mean, these is this. These are going to be really useful. Charles Martel and a, yeah, Charles Martel with plus five attack, six range, ex incredibly fast attack speed. Wait till you see it, you guys, if you haven't already. And uh, this is just a woad raider, I think, but yeah, better than nothing. I don't know if he'll heal. Here you go. Enjoy your fat roast turkey. You brought the turkey. Excellent. Let's roast it. Put it right in the fire. Bam! There you go. Do we have to do anything? Do we have to, like, kill it? Mmm, good turkey. Good. Okay, Prince Carl, you have proven yourself. Me and my merry men are at your command. Come on, we have Fenarian butt to kick. Outstanding. All right. Let's send these two out ahead. And we'll keep moving along. See which way we have to go. North to Kron, east to Gyan, where we came from. West is the Kriv tribe territory. Southwest is the Badlands. This is the Badlands, which we can't get into because those rocks are in the way. Yes, we know. Um, so I guess we skip that for now. Or find another way in. We'll see. Uh, frame rate's starting to drop again. But it's still doable. Still manageable. Be nice if we got some opportunity to heal again. Uh, uh oh. No problem. Hobbitiers are not scary at all. Arbalests are a little scary. Mamelukes are not too bad. 
There we go. No problem. No problem at all. And here comes the rest of our, our new army and our two extra heroes. This is the way we do not want to go because that's the way to the city, the capital city, and we're not ready to go there yet. Let's see what's up ahead. Continue our exploration. Ah, we're almost at the next point. That's good. Nothing here. And we can't get in there. Maybe maybe there this uh, these people's quest will have something to do with those guys in there. Alright, let's do control groups again. Samurai we'll include him as well. Control what is this? Four. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think we can give this guy his own because he's going to be so useful in battle. We're going to want to know where he is at all times. All right, so for now, these three is what we need. What? 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 Uh, what just happened? I missed something. That was there for like 10 seconds. Uh, ten, well, not ten seconds, ten nanoseconds, more like. Uh, oh god, I always forget what what you do to to review the um chat. Ugh, I always forget what that is. Sorry, guys. But it said click on the see, the dude to see if he will let you inside. So let's see if he'll let us inside. You are not welcome here. Welcome, I what? What on earth? I'm so confused. You are not welcome here, and then welcome, my prince, you may go inside. I am so confused. You are the leader of this famous tribe. Speak then. Are you with the successor or against him? That's all I need to know. Tribe chief, a bunch of eagle warriors. You have done well, my young prince. Almost all Denarians able to carry weapons now answer to you, but mark my words, you will never take Kron without me and my men. Yeah, they've got a fair... A fair amount here. Plumes, art, uh, eagles. Nice. We are different from the peasants in your army. We have warrior blood in our veins. We've saved this nation countless times. Even your father called upon us more than once, but now it is time to see if his son is worthy of our aid. Okay, just say what you want. Money, women. <laughs> we'll get those as soon as I'm in control of the land. God, what an ass. No, my friend, we do not want anything of that sort. The only thing you need to do to have us as allies is to prove your worthiness in front of our patron, Kriv, the god of eternal ice. Okay, no problem. How do I do that, by the way? You will travel alone to the west of here. There you will find Kriv's altar. He will put you to the test. If you come back alive, it means you are worthy. This is how all decisions are made in our tribe. Interesting... Kind of extreme, wouldn't you think? It is the only way, Prince. It was the same for your father before you. Take it or leave it. I will take it, but I have one word of advice for you, Chief. Never, and I mean never, compare me to my father again. In fact, never even mention him in front of me again. Oh, we've got some daddy issues. Oh, dear. I guess he's like an illegitimate, disowned kind of son, so he doesn't like his father that much. I'm going now. Don't think for a second you've seen the last of me. I will prove to your god what I'm worth. Your puny god. A couple of hours later. I don't know what was up with that, like, you may not, you may not enter, now you may enter. Um, oh wow, he has a lot of HP. I wonder if it was just like you have to wipe out all the Fenarians in the immediate vicinity before you can come in, and since I'd already done it, they just like immediately let me in. Or maybe it was you have to find the girl for the dot for the. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it would have been, but 
I guess we'll never find out. And I think I should save. Kral is off on a, a one-man quest here. Prove myself to this god of ice. Now, I seem to recall that one of the uh, scroll... A fire here, that's strange. There's nobody around. It doesn't look like an ordinary fire either. It reminds me of the flames prote protecting Ignis's relic. Now, I seem to remember there was some... One of the scrolls in the cave where we were getting the relic said something about... Strange fire. Said something about how you can use fire to defeat ice, or that they're like the enemies of each other. So I'm wondering if to def to prove myself to this ice god, I have to do something with this fire. That would seem to be... To make sense. Can I... Alright, I just saved, so... Oh, I can't seem to do anything with that. I thought I could maybe put the flames on my sword or something badass like that. But I'll keep this in mind, because I'm sure it's going to come in handy. Where am I even? Come, human. Approach. You are in Kriv's sanctuary now. I can't fight this thing. No, his stats are way better than mine, and I don't think I can take him even with uphill advantage. I am Kriv, and this statue is my manifestation here on Earth, through which I make my orders known to those who worship me. The smaller ice statue in front of me is my servant. Okay, so the big statue is talking, and this is, like, his servant. To prove your worthiness, you must defeat this ice warrior. If you survive, my people will know they need to follow you. Single combat. I'm not afraid of your ice minion. Let's get it over with. This is bad. The slippery ice on the ground will make it hard to concentrate on my opponent. I must be very careful. Destroy the ice warrior. Okay... Ice will make me slip or something? A vicious spirit will soon inhabit this ice figure's body. Most warriors last a couple seconds. Let's see how well you do, young one. Good luck. Got some boss battle music. Alright, I'm ready. I'm ready to lure him over here to the flames. Or, or something like that. Maybe it's like how you fight Agurik in uh, Ulio. Or do I just immediately die when I leave this arena? Oh, here we go. Let's see how well we do with the uphill advantage. It's very close. I do okay with uphill. But I don't know if it'll be enough. Yeah, it's really neck and neck. I think he's slightly ahead of me. Alright, so come after me. The ice causes Kral to lose control! Oh, that's annoying. Stop it! Okay, I'm gonna avoid the ice. Ah, I see what I have to do. I have to avoid these ice patches. Ah! I shouldn't have taken all the free damage at the beginning. Run! Oh well. Alright, now I know what I have to do though. Unfortunately now it won't load with the boss music because the trigger would have been in the past. Shame. Okay, but I know what to do. I have to lure him here and avoid all the icy patches as best I can. Because they make me lose control for a few seconds and then I take lots of hits. Let's go! Oh, we do get the music, that's good. Uh, avoid it, avoid, avoid the ice. Nice. Can I get through? Oh, no, I can't. Alright. Feel the flames. There we go. That's damaged him quite a bit, and now I think I can take him. Think being the operative word. 
Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm ahead of him. I think I, I can't tell, but I think I have an uphill advantage here. I can't really tell underneath all these flowers. But I seem to be winning. Excellent. I've done it. See you in hell, demon! Okay, do I just return to the statue now and brag about it? That fire shouldn't have been there, but it seems my rival Ignis has placed you under his protection. You were lucky, but I have only one word. Go back to, you go back to the tribe. They will follow your every command. Kriv has spoken. That's right. And thus Kral made his way back to the tribe. Sweet. I'm back, and as you can see, I'm still alive. Don't lie, you never you never left. It was a different unit. I can tell. Congratulations, Prince. I have to say I'm surprised. Hehe. <laughs> you finished the task almost as fast as your father did 20 years ago. <laughs> Kral is triggered. Triggered. All right. That's... Oh, wow. All right. Well, great. I told you not to go there, you idiot. Look at you now. Not smiling anymore, huh? So anyone else want to share anything with me about my loving father? Jeez. This guy's got issues. This is not how you convince people to follow you. Very well, it seems you tribesmen are smart after all. Everybody prepare for battle. We will reconquer Kron and get that snake Willen out of his hiding place. This is like the evil crawl music. But before that, bring Mohan to me. I need to talk to him. He's wiser than all you peasants put together. Alright. We've got the eagles. Eagles, elite eagles. Plumed archers. All very nice. All very nice. Okay, well, we have a very respectable army now. Well, old man, by now you must have realized I didn't like my father all that much. But I have nothing against his friends, especially when they prove to be as helpful as you have. True that. Now I finally have my army, but I'm not stupid enough to try and enter Kron through the main gates. We don't have any siege engines. My poorly armored warriors would be an easy target for Fenarian arrows. Yes, I did notice our distinct lack of siege. I was thinking about that. Like, how are we supposed to get in without any siege? So, old man, what is the best thing to do right now? You know this land and my enemies better than anyone in Ravenia. I will do whatever you say. For once in my life, I will listen to somebody other than myself. It's like he's aware of all his character flaws, but he doesn't give a crap. It's interesting. My prince, I thank you for your trust. I do believe I know a way to win Kron from our enemies. Though it is not an easy one, it is still better than getting killed trying to hopelessly to tear down Kron's thick walls with nothing but arrows and swords. We still haven't gone in here. There is a secret underground passage leading into the city. It was designed as a gateway for the king in case of a siege. I am the only person still alive who knows of it. There is only one little problem... And that is... Go on. <laughs> it's on the other side of the Donar River in Sylvania. It's the entrance to a cave deep in the Sylvanian forest. It normally wouldn't be hard to reach, except... Except the only way to cross the river is to go through Kron. Or that, that we've seen so far, anyway. Fenarians have blocked and fortified all passages to Sylvania. Trying to attack their garrisons would weaken our army too much to take Kron back. Oh, yeah. Might as well attack Kron itself, because this is pretty rough-looking. Castle. My lord, if I may, says the Kriv warrior. This one. There is one small bridge over the Donar that has not been fortified. It's not too far from here, but to get to it, we must pass through the Badlands. 
an area that has been the hiding place of bandits for centuries. Okay, so we can get through. So that's what this is. We will go through here. Yeah. Well, it sounds better than taking on the Fenarian fortifications. Let's get a move on. Okie dokie. We've got our army. Pretty nice one. Lots of eagles. Lots of plumes. And of course, our old guys here. Guess I'll mix the plumes in with the uh, crossbows. And I should have like one one archer, shouldn't I? Or did he die? He probably died. Who are we kidding? Click on the crew. Yeah, something is weirdly bugged out about this see if you are worthy to go inside thing. All right. I think I'll give the eagles their own control group as well. Alright. Take Kral to Sylvania, passing through the band land, bad lands to the southwest. Okay, so we have to go through here and then somehow circle like around the back, like this, to here. It sounds like it'll take a while to do. So, I think... Eh, we'll, we'll start. We'll start, and then I'll wrap up this episode in like 10-15 minutes or so. Let's just scout ahead with everyone, with with the heroes as usual. So many guys, so many different groups. Well, this, these rocks will be gone now, magically, by the by the powers of plot contrivance. Probably not a bad time to save. Yeah! What did I tell you? Ooh. Get out of the way. Alright, what are we gonna do? The siege engines. Hey, calm down. He actually he can do he can do a number on a siege engine actually. He can just yeah, there you go. Boom, onager to the face. Doesn't matter. Ollie's too much of a badass. Ranged melee, nothing like it. Dodge that, or try to. Let's run underneath it this time. Playing a dangerous little game here. Okay, that's enough of that, I think. Uh, only one more shot, though. Only one more shot to take it out. Boom. There we go. He's come down from his hill. And plumes don't have very good range, do they? Run around, run all the way around. Good thing we didn't bring the whole army in there to get Onager shotted. That would have been a real pain. That would have hurt a lot. Alright, but I know better than that. Lots of traps here. There's a flag there, not sure what that means. Some sort of bandit flag, probably. Is there going to be all sorts of traps here? There's a hole in the ground. I have a weird feeling about that hole. Is it some sort of booby trap? No? Alright. Hmm. Mm hmm. All sorts of stuff coming this way. Shouldn't be too much of an issue. Take them all out. These guys are pretty weak. Unupgraded skirmishers, feudal age skirmishers. I'm not afraid of that. 
Oh, I'm a bit afraid of this, though. Retreat! Don't need the eagles, necessarily. Wow, they've got the numbers, that's for sure. How the heck did you get up there? What on earth? All right, pathfinding. That's a new one. Interesting. <laughs> that might actually come in handy. Well, maybe not. All right, we are still doing pretty well here. Our army count hasn't dropped since we entered these badlands. That's all that matters. Ah, look at this guy. This is Commander Aaron all over again. It's fantastic. One man army. No problem. I want to move forward a bit. There's these hills sure are lousy with bandits, but they're also weak. I mean, I guess Wode Raiders are okay, but still. Ooh. That's a little scarier. Three shots, though. <laughs> Take him all out. No problem at all. So there's just like armies of lightly armored bandits just sort of hanging out in these hills waiting for some poor bastard to just sort of wander through. What are you doing? Right, this should be fairly easy as well. Problems. Slowly make our way here. We're very close to overtaking the Fenarians in score, which is that'll be a great moment. Wood Raiders aren't too scary if they have no upgrades. Elite Wood Raider. Not too bad. Spearmen aren't too bad either. No problemo. Into the mountains we go. Sorry, Prince, we cannot let you go any further. Your head is worth too much gold. can take my head if you want if you want to try but I don't think you will be particularly successful my army is too strong this is some mystifying pathfinding right here where do you think you're going all right you do you Tehran you do you Ooh, that's actually eh. Not something I need to mess with right now. Alright, let's flush out these siege machines before they do too much damage. Bid. 
There we go. And we've overtaken the Fenarians in the score. Hallelujah! This is my storeroom! Don't come any closer! What? Your storeroom? It seems this was their boss. He had a very nice sword in here, I think. I'll take it. Plus five attack for Crawl. Sweet. Well, if he had such a nice sword, he sure wasn't making good use of it, because he was pretty easy to kill. <laughs> Just as easy as all the others. I gotta sneak around the back here, around the back of this ice palace, ice, ice arena or whatever. It seems that was the last of them. Now let's find the pass. It should be somewhere around here. Well, that was a pretty easy series of battles. No losses taken. Let's save in case something weird happens. Sneak around the back like this. Aha! Here it is! Come on, everyone. They're all bunched up. <laughs> Let's hope this bridge doesn't like collapse as soon as I cross it or something weird. No. We've made it to Sylvania. Let us rest now. Tomorrow we'll travel to the mountains and find that cave. I can feel my throne getting closer. At the same time in Kron Castle's throne room, the place so coveted by Kral, it is Willen, also known to the people of Ravenia as the Usurper, who sits on the royal chair. The royal throne. Ah, there he is. Let's, sur surrounding himself in bling. My, sir, my lord, one of the leaders of the two guy, General Kuban, is here to see you. Invite him in. Ah, oh, yeah, we haven't met the two guy yet. I bring greetings from the great eastern horde of the two guy. I have requested this audience because I have some news that I'm sure you and our Fenarian allies will find most interesting. Got all these relics, man. I'm all ears, my friend. I hope you have good news for me. I grow tired of hearing about the victories of this so-called successor. Well, actually, that is precisely what I was going to talk to you about. Our scouts have informed us that the dog called Kral has just crossed the Donar River. He's now in Sylvania. How did I not know of this? That bastard! Oh, I, what could he be up to now? He defeated my Fenarian troops time and time again, and now he runs away? Something is wrong. Something is afoot. Of course, you know, Kuban, that my Fenarian friends have a lot of gold ready for the one who brings them that bastard's head. Your Fenarian friends can rest assured. Where their troops have failed, our warriors shall triumph. But the reward had better be as big as you say it is, for our horde fears no one. Never forget that, Governor. Now you will excuse me. Spending time out of the saddle makes us two guy dizzy. Expect the royal bastard's head in a few days. Farewell for now. Big words, Mr. General Kuban. Let's see if you can stand up to it. These two guy are dangerous, but I need them for the moment. With Kral alive, the Kron population could turn against me at any time. I already lost Gian to the rebels because of this bastard. Damn that son of a whore. He will never get to me. The two guy will kill him. He can never get to me. You keep telling yourself that. Next morning? Enough rest, let us travel further. Kron awaits to be liberated! Yay! Huzzah! Save point! And I think this is where I'm gonna call it a day, or call it an episode. So, Survivor, uh, Survivor, Successor Episode 5, save. And, as always, let's have a look at the achievements for so far. Starting to look pretty good here. 
I look at all this uh, relic gold that the teal player has gathered because we put the relic in uh, Father Teofil's monastery. Yep, see? Alright, we've got a pretty nice size army now, and the Fenarians are gradually... Here, look at this. This is the um, the bandits on the far right here, where it gets really... the Fenarians get start dwindling really steeply. It was probably those bandits, because they were quite numerous and pretty poorly armored. Yep. Alright, well, thanks for watching as always, you guys, and I'll be back really soon with the next part as we enter Sylvania and have to fight the two-guy. See what they have that makes them harder to beat than the Fenarians. Thanks for watching as always. Bye.